In this question, I need to find which single transformation would map A, B, E into C, D, E. I need the angles A, B, E and A, C, D. The, the single transformation is a rota rotation of 180 degrees. If you see here, it rotates 180 degrees. I didn't use a calculator for this problem, and it's reasonable seeing it vi visually. <laughs> and it's a rotation. The Martinez family is hosting a party for 24 people this summer. The restaurant that is catering the event is charging $4 for child dinner and $6 for adult dinner. If the catering costs $134, how many adults came to the party? So, I know that I need to set up an equation. I know that the children for X and the adults for Y, a total of them will make up 24 people. I know that the child ticket costs $4 and the adults cost $6 and that made a total of $134. And I want to find Y values because that's for the adult tickets. Well, first I need to find the common factors. Since we want to find y, I'm going to use negative 4 to take away the x. So I'm going to multiply this by negative 4 and get negative 4x plus negative 4y equal negative 96 and since that's already 4x I just bring that down and now I start my equations I cancel this out here I'll get 2y equals 38 divide by 2 by both sides and I get y equals 19 so there were 19 adults at the party. Which of the graphs shown represents a linear inequality y is greater than or equal to 1 half x minus 1? So we know that um, the y-intercept is negative 4 and the slope is 1 half. So we're going to find the points that have the y-intercept, which is negative 4. Since we know our sign is greater than or equal to, we know that our line will be solid and not dashed. So we will cross out the ones that are dashed. And we know it will be shaded above and not below, so we'll cross those out too. And that leaves us with two, two graphs, which means you have to look at each one and see if it follows the rules. So it's negative 4, rise over run. And it does not follow, it does not stay in the shaded area, which means that is also up. So that just leaves us with B, which is goes negative 4, rise, we rise 1, move 2, rise, move 2, which means B will be our answer.